You know, medical science will tell you that the first successful human cardiac transplant occurred in 1968. But the surgery performed by Dr. Norman Shumway, known as the father of heart transplantation, was actually not the first successful heart transplant. <laughs> not even close. Well, before we get too deep into the issues of the heart, welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert, and I'm pleased you decided to drop by this morning. Grab a cup of something and, set, and a chair, and we'll spend the next five to seven minutes together. You know, my goal is to help people get introduced to the Jesus that they never knew and help them get to know him and his word personally and better. Well, obviously we're going to be speaking about hearts today, so if what I've got to say touches yours, I'd invite you to like, subscribe, and then share it with a friend. Now, to be fair, I'm not taking anything away from Dr. Shumway. The work he did at Stanford University School of Medicine was nothing short of visionary. And since that day, more than 50,000 lives have been saved by transplanting a new donor heart. Every year, thousands of people receive an incredible gift, one they carry wherever they go, every day. It's the gift of life beating in their chest, thanks to a generous donor who was determined that losing their life should make a difference by saving someone else's, and a family who has stepped in to help make that happen. But since we dealt with the to the rear march issue of repentance yesterday, I thought it would be a good time to look at the original father of heart transplantation and the ultimate donor. Today's verse says, I will give you a new heart and I'll put a new spirit within you. You know, before we repent, all of us have a heart that's desperately sick. Yeah, that, that's actually the Bible's term. It's a direct quote desperately sick. Now, when I think about the word desperate in this context, what comes to mind is a person who, who knows they need a heart transplant and they're on the waiting list, but the process of waiting for a donor heart to uh, become available, <laughs> well, that can be long and stressful and guilt naturally comes into play. I mean, everybody waiting for a heart knows that a Donor has to die to make that possible. But feelings of desperation end up pushing all other feelings aside as their present heart gets worse and worse. You know, many people die before they receive a new heart. That's desperation. Thankfully, the original father of heart transplantation has no such limitations. His procedure is perfect, and he's never lost a patient that came to him asking for a new heart. And here's the most amazing part. God has no waiting list for heart transplants. And the generous donor who is determined that losing his life should make a difference, <laughs> well, he's already given his life and made his heart available to you. And the best news of all, it's a perfect match and it's waiting for you now. But like every person who needs a heart transplant, the clock's ticking. I mean, folks on the waiting list have to react immediately when they get notified that a donor heart has become available. Look, there's, there's no discussion about convenience. That call automatically makes everything and anything else that had been planned less important because their current heart has advanced end-stage heart failure. In other words, <laughs> it's desperately sick. And if it stops before the new one is installed, all hope is lost. Friend, if your heart stops before you get a new one, all hope is lost for you, too. Thankfully, you've gotten the call. The donor heart is ready and God's waiting on you. Isn't it time 
to let God remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart that works. Confirm your heart transplant appointment with the prayer, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. The doctor and the donor have done their part. Now we're just waiting on the patient. But God will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. Hey, as we wrap up, can I ask you to help me give a people a heart transplant? <laughs> help me by introducing people to the Jesus they never knew. Please like this video to help more people see it. And then follow or subscribe so that you and I can get together every day. You may have a comment or a question. And I'd love to have you just pop it in the comments section. Let me know how our time together touched your heart. One more thing. Share this with a friend, would you? Because as you do, you're part of the team. Transplanting hearts all over the world. <laughs> with the love of Jesus. Hey, thanks for helping.